hello guys you're welcome to my youtube channel my name is omar i'm glad to have you here if this is your first time please feel free relax right yes if you've been an old subscriber i love you thank you for all your support i love you all <sighs> it's painful indeed it is happening you can call it appalling that a lot of people are going through what they do not know anything about what do i mean by this the oath that you took before coming on an earthly mission you might be pretending that you don't know about it. The truth is that in one way or the other, who you were in your previous life has been communicated to you in the spirit. It could happen when you're sleeping or when you're in trance. Different kinds of oaths can affect your life. The oath you have taken in the spiritual realm might be the reason you are still suffering today. Let us talk about oath. Oath is something that is very deep. Oath is deeper than the ocean. Oath. You swear an oath. And this oath holds you all your life you die you go back you return back again the same oath is having either negative effect on you or positive effect mm -hmm. before an oath will be taken there are presence of either the indichi your fathers or your indut your realms some people took the oath in the water. Some people took theirs on earth. Different places that oath were taken. But the truth remains. During oath taking, there are spirits that hold that oath for you. Which they remember for you either now later or upon coming again this is why i keep talking whatever you are going through today the most important people that have the keys to unlock it for you are your realms your indiotu they are capable of holding your oath for you making sure that you do not get married simply because of what you have said in your previous life many times on this channel I have told you guys to be careful the way you say things some of your realms are very aggressive they do not joke with their own you are in your marriage you keep lamenting why did I get married to this man this is a bad marriage in fact I wish I never married this man I do not ever want to get married to this kind of man again. You think it's just, you know, words of the mouth. You will never know that there are people, there are your realms in the spiritual realm, your indiotu. They are holding it for you. They are not doing this to be wicked to you. Rather, they are doing it because they believe that what you want, what gives you joy, is their priority be careful what you do or you take an oath oh marriage is calm I will never get married again in my life or I will never come as a woman again I want to come as a man or I want to come as a man or maybe you're a man you say that oh being a man is, is so tactful being a man is a big task I don't want to be a man upon coming again your realms can hold your words for you Upon coming again, you will come as a woman. I love to 
explain things before I teach. To enable you to understand what you are going into. In order for you not to make mistakes, avoidable mistakes. An oath that was taken in your previous life can affect you not to have your own children in your present life. So many people are suffering today. They don't even have money. They are so poor that they can't even feed themselves. It has to do with the oath that you took in your previous life. As a woman who experienced total pain, agony, sorrow in marriage, and you tell yourself that anytime I'm coming again on an earthly mission, any man that I have something to do with will see Shege. The man will see Banza. I will make sure that I deal with that man. Your realms will hold it. It usually happens to women who are totally soft. They are being used, manipulated by men. The men eat their money without anything. They, they suffer them. They don't even know their stand. On coming again on earthly mission, it becomes a different story altogether. Any man they have anything to do with must be under them. They must be in total charge. They must be in total control of either the relationship or marriage. So, is applicable to men. A lot of things that you are going through today, you might be asking yourself, why am I going through this? It's possible that your case is associated with oath retaking. It is the same oath that makes a child come on an earthly mission. Because of the oath he or she took, the child comes into a particular family, stay one month, two months, die. At childbirth, the, di the child di dies. Oath can affect all these things. Enough of the explanation. If you know that by any means you have been told that oath is your problem, come, let's do this together. In here, I have a collar knot, four petals collar knot. This is native collar knot. Please do not buy Aosa collar knot. Goro, it won't work for you. This is four petal collar knot. Alligator pepper, just one seed of alligator pepper for cleansing. You cleanse your body with it. This is cowrie. All you need is just one cowrie. Remember, there are plastic cowries, there are original cowries directly from the water. If you don't have it, you can contact me. I will sell to you original cowry. This represents your destiny. Mm -hmm. Akalaka. Akalaka. Look at my hand and look at the stripes on this akalaka, right? It's a seashell, but it represents your destiny. Akalaka. I want to retake the oath that was taken in your previous life. This is Mpuliyi. This is Mpuliyi. This Mpuliyi is a, is a black stone from the, from the water. It belongs to the water element. All these things you see here, the cowrie, the akalaka, they, are, they all belong to the water element. This is Mpuliyi that you used to retake that oath. I will teach you how to do it. This is a first stick. A first stick for justice. Alright? Yes. For justice, a four stick. This is my currency. Here I have 1,000 Naira notes, 500 Naira notes, 200 Naira notes. 100 Naira notes, 50 Naira notes, 20 Naira notes, 10 Naira notes. These are the only currency we use in my country. This means that wherever you are, you can make use of, make do with what is available to you. This is a pot, it's a clay pot, wooden pot, okay? 
This is a calabash. We have oku, the small one. We have the big ones. This is even too big. If you can get a smaller one, it's fine. You can use oku, that is the small pot, or you can use a small calabash for this. In the night, you bring that your oku, keep it on the ground. Hmm? You use this money to start cleansing your body. Now you are paying for whatever you are owing in the spiritual realm. Any oath that you took that is affecting you negatively, now you are paying it off. You are no longer interested in the oath. Whoever that was present before you took this oath, you are inviting them to be present as you are giving back to them that the oath is no longer useful to you and you do not need it anymore. You cleanse your body. Then you drop, make sure that the money is straight. When you're dropping the money, it must be straight like this. Place straight like this. Paying off the money you are owing. You are paying off for anything you are owing in the spiritual realm. And as well as retaking the oath that was taken before you came on this earthly mission. So because many of you were owing, in the spiritual realm yes when i tell you that you were owing you'll be like ah, i can't remember promising and I'm, i did not fulfill my promise yes it might be your reincarnate that did it and it's having effect and it's affecting you recently so you must make sure that you pay off you bring another one you cleanse your body from head to toe make sure that you do the cleansing all over your body you must touch the money before you start, use one seed of alligator paper to cleanse your body, then trash it. Then you start. You state that whoever you are owing, you are paying them off with this money. After doing it, you put it here. You take the next one. The same way you will do to all of this money. Okay? The money will be like this. Inside the oko. Or whatever you are using. Whatever you can lay your hands on. It's okay. Hmm? Look at it. You pick the kola knot and raise it up to the sky. You state that you are saying today that whatever it is that you are, is affecting you in the spiritual realm, regarding owing the spirits or even taking an oath, you are retaking it. That today you are retaking it. You are no longer interested in the oath. In the debt, you are paying off your debt. The oath, whatever it is, you are. It, let it be over. Let it not have any negative effect on you. You drop it on the money like this. Eh? You drop it on the money like this. You bring your holy seed of oath. You say that this is your seed of oath. That today you are retaking that oath that we took in the spiritual realm. Mm -hmm. And please let that oath not have anything against you anymore. Let it be destroyed. You say that you are retaking it. That is, you touch your tongue. A sign that you have retaken the oath. You drop it on top of the money like this. Hmm? You bring your ego ayoro. Ego ayoro is the olden days money. Okay, it's from the middle. It's from the water. You also state that if they prefer the olden days money, that is cowrie. Please, you are paying them off with cowrie. This is recent money. You have more than excess to pay off your debt, both in recent and olden days money. You drop it. Make sure that the cowrie, make sure that the cowrie is facing up like this. Let it face up. That the front will be showing, will be facing up, right? This is akalaka, or your destiny. You place it on your destiny, and raise your hands up to the sky. Now, whatever it is that is affecting your destiny. The ones you know, the ones you do not know. Please, that you want your destiny to be a bright one. You are bringing back whatever that whatever that is taken away from you in the spiritual realm. You are bringing it back. Let it return back to you. This is your akalaka. Hmm? Look at it. After saying it, you drop it on top of the money. Like this. Can you see? Like this. It is a first stick. Hmm? Or first stick. When you after saying something and you touch it off, it means that it means that you have no, this is for truth, your truth, justice. 
Mm? It represents truth, justice, peace. Okay? You say that you have said it in your offer, then you drop it like this. You drop it here like this. And then you carry this your calabash or your your pot, whatever you are using. You start going proceed straight up to a flowing a flowing river. Go to a flowing river and drop mm -hmm. it there. Your problem is over. You will say that I told you. This thing I just taught you now will be supposed to cost you a lot of money. But I'm teaching you free of charge. Go and do it. If you know you can't get all the items, hmm, you can contact me. I'll do it for you. You pay me for my services while I do it for you. But if you know you have all the materials, please don't come and ask me, can, can I use this? Or can I use that? No, don't ask me that. I've explained everything. That's why I always take my time to explain things in the video. If you pay attention, you will understand. The only thing it will cost you is small data. You will watch the video in full and learn how to do these things. Carry it like this and take it to the a flowing river. Go and drop it there. If you if you can, when going for this when going for this um, ritual, you can go with an elderly one, an elderly man who will stand as a witness mm -hmm. when you are doing this. But if you can't, you can as well do it alone. There is no problem. Okay? Alright. Thank you very much for watching, guys. God bless you all. And see you guys in my next one. Bye.